Hello Vikings, Stephanie here with today's quick tips from learning from home. Today I'm going to be talking about the study groups and how they're important to sticking to good study and learning habits. If anything like me, study groups are important a part of helping me to learn content from classes. So since we're unable to meet with friends, it's important to think of other ways. So there's a lot of great tools to still have communication with your study group without actually meeting up with them. You can try FaceTime, Skype, Facebook Messenger, Microsoft Team, Jitsi Meet, Zoom, Uvu, and even House Party for your study group meets. So when choosing a tool, it's important to consider whether everyone has to sign up for an account and if they have the right kind of technology. You should also keep in mind the cost, privacy, number of participants, and features such as screen sharing. Since most of you already have Google Meet accounts through jeffco.edu because of online classes, this may be the best option and it also checks off all the boxes for choosing a tool. Uh, Google Chat also allows you to share documents and start video meets right from the chat. And shared Google Docs can also be another way to help with your study groups. So it's also very important to set up regular times with your groups, just as you did before, just to stick to a regular schedule. Studies have proven that running in groups helps you learn faster, get new perspectives on a topic to get a more in-depth understanding, and also it's a solution to procrastination. And it's very important to keep up regular study habits so you do not struggle in school for the rest of the semester. If you're used to studying with a friend group, make sure you continue to do this. Just do your best during this uncertain time and be patient with yourself and others. We'll get through this together. Hashtag hello Vikings.